Part 4. We are going to look at a few examples of angles. You will find this on page 164 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. I want you to do number 6A, 7A and 8A. Stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Number 6A. Now, given that X O Y is a straight line. X O Y. Find the value of the unknown in each of the following figures. Now remember a straight line is how many degrees? 180. What does that little square mean? That little square means it's 90 degree, degrees. So I can make my first equation. So that will be, start with the 2Y. So 2Y plus 90 degrees plus 3Y will be equal to 180 degrees. And what will be my reason? It's adjacent angles on a straight point line. That's my reason. Okay. Now, remember, this is an equation. This is like, this is like. This one is like with this one. I want to get my like terms on the same side. So to get rid of this positive 90, what will I do? I will subtract 90 on both sides. So basically, I will have 2y plus 3y. Remember, this will cancel. So I will just have the 180 minus 90 degrees. Now, this is like terms. I can add it up. So 2 plus 3, that will be 5y. And if I subtract, 90 degrees. Then I divide 5 and I divide 5. And I will get that the value of y, what is 90 divided by 5, that will be exactly 18 degrees. Okay, that was number 6a. Let's do number 7a. Now, in number 7, they say each of, of the figures, the straight lines A, B. Now, maybe we can just mark that straight lines. Um, a, B. And C, D. Uh, let's just go a little bit upper. That is straight lines. Okay. Intersect at point O. Find the unknown marked angles. Okay. Now, let's start on this straight line, C, D. So I see that angle C plus 190 will be equal to 180. So I can form an equation. So basically, I just can say C plus 119 degrees will be equal to a straight line, 180. And it's exactly the same reason. It's adjacent angles on a straight line. So basically, I'm going to solve this. Now, remember, to get rid of this one there, what do we have to do? We have to cancel it. And what will cancel that one? Minus 119. And whatever I do on one side, I must do on the other side. So basically, I'm ending up this cancel, and I'm ending with C equals 180 minus 119 degrees. And if I say 180 minus 119 degrees, I will get 61 degrees. Okay, 61. It's good to write it in. Then you follow which ones you already solved. Now, can you see that this is two straight lines? That this one and this one will be vertical opposite angles. So basically, I can go and say angle C, C will be equal to angle A, which will be equal to 61 degrees. And my reason for that will be vertical opposite angles. That's my reason. Okay, so I have this one also now as 61. Now, look at this straight line again. Can you see that B plus 94 plus that 61 is also 180? So I can form a statement by saying B plus the 94 plus the 61 will also be 180. And it's exactly the same reason as that, because it's adjacent angles on a straight line. 
Okay, and now I can simplify this. Remember, I want this two to go to the other side. So what will I do? To cancel the year, this positive 90, I will negative 94. And I will also negative 94 on the other side. To cancel this positive, I will negative 61, negative 61. So basically, <coughs> to find B, I will just say 180 minus 94 degrees minus 61 degrees. And if I simplify that, I will come to an answer of B is equal to 25 degrees. And that's my final answer. That is 25 degrees. Okay, <coughs> before we do number 8, let's just make a little bit of space. Okay, let's do number 8. I'm going to even move it a little bit up that you can see it nicely. Okay, number 8. In the figure, ROS, oh, let's see where is ROS oh, and TOP are straight lines. I think it's very good that if you see a straight line, just remember it's a straight. Okay, let's just do it again. That's a straight line and that is a straight line. Okay, now let's go on. Find the values of the unknowns in each of the following figures. Okay, now remember this is a straight line. So basically that angle plus that angle will give me 180. But the problem is I'm sitting with a Y there and there are X. So don't start with that point because the unknowns must be the same. But look at this one. I know that this one and this one they are vertical opposite angles, and I know that they are equal. And there's an X and there's an X, so I'm going to start with this one. So basically, I'm just going to say 7X plus 5 is equal to 2X plus 35 degrees. Okay, and, and basically my reason for this will just be vertical opposite angles. And what do I know about that? They are equal. Okay, now this is the equation. Can you see there's an x and an x, and there's a 5 and a 35. I want the like terms on the same side. So take this, okay, let's just do the cancelling out. <coughs> In order to get this positive 5 cancel, I negative 5, negative 5 on both sides. So let's first do that. So <coughs> I'm having 7x, that cancel, and it's 2x plus 35 minus 5. I will now bring in the degrees. Okay, and now I want this one to cancel there. So it's a positive, remember? So what will cancel? Negative 2x and negative 2x on this side. So I will have 7x minus 2x is equal to this cancel, 35 <coughs> minus 5. And what is 7 minus 2x? That will be 5x. And 35 minus 5 is 30. And then to get 1x, I divide 5, I divide 5. And the value of x, what will be the value of x? 6. But I'm not finished. Now, <coughs> I want still to find this one. Now, the best will be is to first work out this angle. So I can actually go and I can work out that angle. Or... I think what we can do, let's make a statement and then just do the substitution. Maybe that will be easier for you. So basically, I'm going to say that this angle plus this angle will be equal to 180. So let's start with the statement. We say 5y plus the 18 plus the 7x plus the 5 will be equal to 180. And what will the reason? Adjacent angles on a straight line. Okay, now let's do just do substitution. Do you see there's an x? So I can substitute in that place of x. So I'm going to have 5y plus 18 plus, and then now substitute that 6 in, plus 5 equals 180 degrees. Okay, and now I'm basically just having a y and I have, we can simplify this to 5y plus 18 
7 times 6, what will that be? 42. So basically, we are just going to do this one. Okay, so plus... Okay, so basically if I continue this, now to cancel this, this, and this, I can actually first add it up or I can just subtract it on the other side. But I think, let's just add it up. Let's say 18 plus 14, 2 plus 5, and that will give me 65. So I will have 5y plus 65 is equal to 180. And now to cancel that plus 65, what must I do? I must subtract 65 on this side and subtract 65 on this side. So I will basically have, let's just move it up still a little bit. I will have 5y here. This will cancel and I will have 180 minus 65. So then I will have 5y, 180 minus 65 is 115. And then I will just divide 5, divide 5. And I will get that my value of y will be equal to 23 degrees. And now I solved, I find the value of x. So the value of x was 6 and the value of y was 23 degrees.